In August, I visited Israel for the tenth time. I've been in virtually every nation of that region at some point in the past 35 years, including Lebanon, Egypt, Jordan, even Syria. I had the opportunity to meet with former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu while there, as well as fly in a helicopter along the Israeli border with Gaza. I stood on a rooftop in Storo and I could see with my own eyes the Gaza border from which the rockets were launched indiscriminately into homes, schools and playgrounds. And I looked at the stockpile of those rockets collected behind the police station. I actually held one of them in my own hand. And they will have another. I'm very happy. First of all, you are very popular not only in the U.S. In Israel, we get popular. You support us with no bad. And for that, I want to command you. I want to thank you. You should be blessed for doing so, supporting the Jewish people in Israel and helping us keeping the land under Jewish sovereignty forever. Thank you very much. God bless you for If I had been all that popular, I wouldn't be able to be here today. <laughs> But I will tell you this, had things turned out differently, there would have been some very different policies toward Israel and the Middle East. I'm hoping to say a few words about Jerusalem. Well, it's uh, a remarkable place. And every time I go, I feel as if I've come home. Israel is our only true ally in the Middle East. They're the only true democracy that exists. The annihilation of Israel, which is the stated goal of terrorist states, uh, is a real threat against America. Huckabee took a whirlwind two-day tour of Jerusalem and its neighborhoods. Overlooking the city, he stressed Israel's capital should not be divided. But you cannot have a divided Jerusalem. In the view of some Israeli officials, Huckabee's visit was timely. So the fact that he's coming here, it's, it's, it's very important for us, and it shows really the true nature of the man, his uh, beliefs in a united Jerusalem and uh, in the unbreakable connection of the Jews to the Holy Land. Huckabee sat down with CBN News during his tour. We asked him about a number of issues, especially in Senator Obama's approach toward Iran. Some of the comments he's made regarding Iran, I'd sit down and talk with him. I'm not sure if he realizes that Iran has stuff pointed right at Israel and would love to use it. And I just don't know if he fully grasps how serious the security issue is for Israel. Currently, Iran poses Israel's greatest security concern. How does Huckabee think Israel should respond to Iranian threats to destroy the Jewish state while it pursues nuclear weapons? Israel, therefore, I think, has every right to protect itself in those circumstances, and the United States has a responsibility to, I think, stand by them if they do, or to uh, help them.